Honor Club, where honor is real. No rules? Uh, what an insult to Roderick Strong. I don't know if Roderick Strong's gonna answer now. He doesn't have to. Carino, also no ring entrance, and here's Roderick Strong. Are you surprised? Have you ever seen Roderick Strong back down from a fight? The third anniversary celebration week is often started with not a match, but a brawl. Roderick Strong of Generation Next against Steve Carino. And it is on Steve Carino. Booting Roderick Strong all over the ring. Strong catches him with a backbreaker. Roderick Strong, the Messiah, the backbreaker, and he proves why. The action quickly spilling to the floor. We have a referee in the ring. This no rules match is on. Yeah, both wrestlers have agreed to the stipulation. I and guess they agreed to the stipulation by throwing some fist mark. There's no negotiation involved. Well, Roderick Strong may not be the most popular guy in the locker room, or maybe not be the most popular guy with you but I have never seen Roderick Strong back down from a fight. Backdrop hard into the crowd. The ring can't contain him. The ringside area can't contain him. Roderick Strong attacks Steve Carino's knee at the last show, raising the ire of Carino as this brawl, no, Carino taking it back to the ringside area. Well, yeah, not only did Strong attack Carino's knee, but this is after Carino came to save his two students that Strong was beating up after Strong had beaten them in a handicap match. It all begins. That's where the issue took place. Of course, Carino returning in September at Glory by Honor 3 to help his friend CM Punk against Generation Next, and now Carino has been sucked into this feud. And Steve Carino calling for the layup. Fake out there as instead he delivers the big boot to Roderick Strong. Carino alluded to this earlier. Carino wrestling this match, or fighting this fight, I should say, with one hand. He has got a freshly broken left hand, courtesy of a match in Japan a few uh, days ago. And, now, and, and that evens the score. Roderick Strong's hand very well could be broken right there. Carino being very aggressive here, teaching the youngster a lesson. Steve Carino determined not to let Roderick Strong make a name at his expense. The action now finally returning to the ring. Your referee is Gary Moyer. Look at Roderick Strong cutting off Carino going right towards that knee that he attacked at the last show. Wagon screw leg whips him into the ring. Now Roderick Strong. Carino's pride may have got the better of him here, Jimmy. He's, first of all, that knee still is 100%. Roderick Strong certainly has no problems going after that. And he's wrestling this match or fighting this fight with one hand, as we mentioned earlier. Steve Carino is fighting on adrenaline, and a lot of times that adrenaline can burn you out. And we're going to see if Steve Carino can recover. Roderick Strong introducing the chair. No rules in this one, Carino said it himself. Roderick Strong going right back to the knee. Well, look at this crowd here tonight, Jimmy. Huge crowd, a thousand plus people here in the Rexplex to witness Ring of Honor celebrate its third anniversary, the beginning of this huge week that will also see Dayton on next Friday and Chicago next Saturday. We just saw a shot of Steve Carino's students his protege is looking on as Roderick Strong has just taken off that knee pad. Now he's going to post that knee. You know, I'll give Roderick Strong a lot of credit here, Mark. He is, oh, we got a cover. Two count only. He is showing a lot of poise, though. He got sucked into that fight by Carino. But notice, as soon as it got back into the ring, Roderick Strong slowed things down and went right after the weak point on Steve Carino, being the knee. Well, a lot of things have been said about Roderick Strong. He's been called a lot of names, a lot of them with justification. He's never been called a coward. 
And second, Roderick Strong, Steve Carino mentioned how green Roderick Strong is and referred to him as a green ass, but Roderick Strong is a young veteran. Very few wrestlers have wrestled in as many big matches as early in their career as Roderick Strong has. This one will be among the biggest of Roderick Strong's young career. When people think of ROH's third year, they have to think about Generation Next. They made their names at everyone's expense up and down the roster, and they're attempting to do that right now against Steve Carino. Roderick Strong, very tenacious in going after the knee. Boy, and that's been the mark of Roderick Strong's stick in ROH is tenaciousness and his aggressiveness. There he just pops a loogie over towards uh, Steve Carino's students. Then notice he aggressively goes after the knee. Generation next has proven time and time again there is nothing they won't do in order to gain an advantage in a match. Including rip their leader, Alex Shelley. Is there, anything, is there such a thing as aggressively methodical? I think that's what we're witnessing right now out of Roderick Strong. Dorito trying to reverse things on one leg. He gets greeted with a big boot to the face as a result. Not only is Steve Carino starting to have to wrestle this match on one leg, but basically he's only got partial use of that left arm as well. You have to credit Steve Carino's toughness his ring presence, but right now he might have let his eagle get the best of him taking this match. I mean, he's so banged up, he should be taking time off. Well, and that's very unlike Steve Carino. Steve Carino considered one of the smartest wrestlers in the sport today, one of the best ring generals in the sport today. You rarely see Steve Carino put himself at a disadvantage as he has tonight. Carino's got to be careful about passing out there. His shoulder's almost on the mat for a three count. What a huge victory this would be for Roderick Strong, perhaps the biggest of his career. Steve Carino, a former world champion in several promotions. He reaches the ropes, referee Gary Moore and calls for the break. Only a world champion in different promotions on different continents as well, both in the United States and in Japan. A top star in 0-1 in Japan right now. Roderick Strong now trying to go back to the figure four, and he meets that chair. Steve Carino, with a desperation move, launches him head first into that chair, but can Carino recover? Again, Carino, almost the entire left side of his body has been disabled by Roderick Strong's onslaught. It was gall against steel right there. Both men down. Carino looks to be getting to his feet first. Here comes Roderick Strong, though. Oh, we got a battle of forearms. Back and forth. Strong now, perhaps a German attack. Standing in Zugiri. I didn't think Carino had that kind of agility in him. Roderick Strong is staggered. Roderick Strong may have a concussion. That point of that boot caught him right in the temple. You see the fans showing their appreciation for this action. This is just your opening match on this huge show. Now Carino starting to rally. I think his students at ringside have been the, the reason they got the crowd sport. Now go for the backslide, the reversal ace crusher. That's homicide's move. Steve Carino using it here, and that could turn the tides. Cover. Did you notice the way that Carino was clutching his hand even as he went for the cover? He can't get a good grip. Let's see if Carino can follow it up with something big. That's what he needs to do. Roderick Strong is a tough individual, a future superstar in this business. Carino cannot afford to lose to him here, though. Carino showing a little bit of frustration in his face and pain as well, but he just takes the Strong down with that big clothesline. It was an STO. I believe that Roderick Strong's knee might have hit Carino when he flipped over, too, right in Carino's head. Something that be noted about Roderick Strong in his day at ROH is that he spent a lot of the last year going after the tag team championship and being involved in some great tag team action. But he's got a sensational singles record as well. 
Roderick's drawing stock continues to climb with every passing match. Carino calling for the Brain Buster. No, Strong able to lower his body weight. Three quarter Nelson backbreaker. Great ring presence going for a cover. Two count only. Roderick Strong knows what a victory over someone like Steve Carino could do for him. If Strong wins this match, his petition will be in on Monday for an ROH title shot. Carino into the steal, now Strong into the steal. Another big backbreaker, but Carino's got the trouble and rush. Oh, the boot puts him down. Strong crawling over, perhaps wants another cover, yes. What's this? Brian Regal, Carino's ring announcer, posing distraction. Carino students call for a little bit of revenge for Boston. It all begins. Northern Lights, Bob. Cover. How oh, ironic would it have been if Roderick Strong lost a match due to the outside interference of others and a gang attack from others. This is the first time the numbers have been against Generation Next. Carino winding up, perhaps for that big lariat. He loves to finish his opponents off with it. A duck, a miss. Traditional back suplex. Double knees to the duck, cover. Well, I thought he had it. I really thought he had him that time. Look at Roderick Strong though, he's pressing his advantage. Lariat! There's too much for Roderick Strong, but what an effort from the Generation Next youngster. Hey, Strong, six years ago, I made a career out of beating up the old guys. I guess now I am one. I'm beat up, almost disabled. But everybody here will tell you, smart. Well, let me tell you something. You might be part of Generation Next or whatever group, but everybody here has a lot of respect for you, so do I. Team Taven, Honor Club's new chapter functionality lets you skip right past any matches featuring that stinky horror Melvin Vinny and lets you go right to what you want to see the most. On desktop, go to the bottom right hand corner of any ROH event, click the menu, and skip right to when I go, I'm Matt Taven, because the kids love it.